Let me ask you a question. Do you have an anger problem? It's not a trick question. <laughs> we all have an anger problem. Anger is everybody's problem. Unless you're a very highly evolved spiritual person with tons of patience, then you've probably got an anger problem in that you probably get angry every day. But the question is like, well, do we recognize this anger? We may not do because we use other words to kind of trivialize it. You know, for example, we might say uh, irritation or annoyance. You know, I got annoyed, I got upset. But these are all just different words that mean the same thing, which is basically we got angry. So anger is a common problem. In fact, we can say that anger is a common enemy that we all share. And we need to control our anger. Otherwise, our anger will end up controlling us with disastrous results. So as Geshe Kelsang says, you know, especially in these what we call degenerate times, you know, times when lots of things are going wrong and the world seems to be a bit of a mess, patience is a very important practice for us. Now, basically, anger is the enemy. And then the thing that opposes the enemy of our anger is our patience, patient acceptance and patience of not retaliating, and also our love, our love for others. So let's have a look at what anger is. You know, Buddhists understand this very well. Uh, Buddha understood, realized his own mind directly, and therefore knows everything about his own mind. And because we all have the same minds, you know, that's another way in which we're all very similar to each other in that we all have the same minds and we all tend to think in more or less the same way. So if we understand our own mind, then the, the other thing is we'll understand other people's minds. And that's wonderful, you know, that um, Buddhism gives us an insight into uh, human psychology, how our mind works. So this is how anger develops. Uh, it, it explains what anger is, and then it says what, how anger develops. So anger is a deluded mind that focuses on an animate or inanimate object, feels it to be unattractive, exaggerates its bad qualities, and wishes to harm it. So anger is a process. It doesn't just magically appear. It there's a process that we have to go through in order to become angry. So first of all, we can say, well, what is anger? It's a deluded mind. It's a delusion. What does that mean? It means a mind that is not in touch with reality. When we develop anger, we're, we're not seeing things as they really are. We are misperceiving reality. And that's the reason why we get angry, because we have a misunderstanding or misconception about how things really are. 